So we're going to be going over how you can conditionally render components in React. So right here I'm rendering my app slider or my image slider in the app. So over here we can see the image slider and we can click it all we want. So what I want to do is I want to sometimes show it and sometimes not show it. So I can do this by storing the value of what whether it should be displayed or not in the state. So I'm going to call this visible and I'm going to set the default to true. So now my favorite way to do this is using ternary. So we can wrap the image slider in curly braces and then we can say this.state.visible and if it's true we'll display the image slider otherwise we'll display null. So we haven't talked about null but when you display null you see nothing which pretty much makes sense. And now I'm going to create a button under under this that says hide and when it's clicked we're just going to change the state. So I'm going to say this.setState and we're going to say visible is false. So we'll give this a save and now we can see our image picker, or sorry, image slider alright and if I click hide it now disappears and we are rendering null. So that's my favorite way to conditionally render something is I'll do a ternary here and we do pretty much either or. So if it's visible we show it otherwise um, we display null. And by the way, we don't have to even display null. Sometimes you may want to display something else. So uh, I am hidden. So it can be a div, it can be whatever you want. So I'm hiding and now I'm showing I am hidden here. So that is the first way you can display something conditionally and that's pretty much what I like to use the most. Now you don't have to do it in line like this, right? So this is, I'm pretty much making this decision in the middle of the JSX. I like to do it that way, but you can also move it up here. So I'm going to conditionally display what this text is here. So instead of just displaying high, hide, I'm going to say const um, button text. And if it's visible, I want to basically turn this into a toggle button. So if it's visible, I want to say uh, hide. Otherwise, I want to say show. And then I can actually just say button text and it'll display it there. So here I want to make this a toggle now. So now I'm going to say not this.state.visible. So basically I'm just going to invert it. So currently we're showing it the visible is true. So when I click hide what's going to happen is it's going to re-render the application with visible false. So if visible is false the button text is going to turn to show and the image slider is not going to be shown. So we click that, we see I am hidden, and now we can click show, and we can now toggle back and forth by clicking this button. Um, and now we're conditionally rendering it. So we can move all the things up here, So and I can do the same thing right here. So I can say const um, slider, and I can just set it equal to this whole thing. And now I can display the slider. All right, so same condition that we had right here, but now I moved the into a pretty much just a variable right here. So I said if it's visible, image slider, otherwise that. So this is just a JSX, um, and we can put more stuff in this, right? So maybe I want my counter here. Um, so let's do my counter that I created, and let's import that. So I'm going to say counter. And now we'll display the counter whenever we're hiding the image. And I can count all I want. I'm going to show, and it's going to come back. And now you'll notice something interesting. So the counter reset whenever we show and hide it. And that's because uh, when I increment and I decrement, and we come back, um, it's unmounted and remounted. So that has something to do with the component lifecycle, which we're actually going to talk about in the next video. So I'll leave that more to talk about then. I want to talk more about some different techniques with uh, displaying stuff. So I've showed you two techniques. We can either inline it in the JSX down here, or we can set variables up here and then just display the variables. Both of those are good options. Another one that I like to use is just an if statement. So up here, I can say if not visible, and I can just have a totally different return statement up here. And of course, I need to say this.state.visible, and I'm going to say div um, display nothing. So as soon as I click hide now, 
um, you'll notice it doesn't even make it down here because it's short circuited or this return statement happens first. And then now we say display nothing. Um, and so that's good if you wanna just totally change what's displayed on the screen all of a sudden is to have a if statement up here. Um, and then you can also use an if statement to set variables as well. So I can say, um, we've been using const all the time. Uh, I could use a let though. So I could say up here, I could have my slider. I could say let, um, and I can say if it's not visible, then I'm gonna say slider is equal to that. And so I'm just gonna redefine slider. Um, and now it says display nothing there. So you can do that. Um, and so that's pretty much the third and the last option that I really use is this if statement. So you can use that to pretty much change how you want stuff to work. And a lot of times what I'll use is the inline or I'll use an if statement. And the if statement I like to use if I like to totally transition. So an example of that is maybe up here I wanna say um, which component to show. And so by default, I'm gonna say um, image slider. And let's, let's, let's make it uppercase, why not? So I'm gonna say up here, I'm gonna say this dot state dot which component to show. If that's equal to image slider, then in my code, I wanna display an image slider. So we're gonna say return, and then we're gonna have our image slider. And then we can have an else if this dot state dot which component to show and we can have our counter, then maybe I wanna display my counter. And down here we'll put our counter. Well, something like this is what I'll use a lot. Um, and so let's actually use the class name app so it's centered. And let's take a look at what this looks like now. So I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff down here since we're not gonna be using it. I, I should have a default return statement, so otherwise we're gonna return null here. Um, and now we can see my image slider because that's the default component which I want to show here. So now we can see my image slider and then I can have a button and it's going to say show counter. And now here I'm going to say on click and we're just going to update the state. So we can say which component to show and we're going to say counter. And now this will let you display and now we can see our counter here. This could let you display multiple components. So we don't have to stop here. I can now display the header if I want to. Else if we can display the header and we can have our button, copy that. And then our counter, I can now say this.setState, the component to show I'd like to be header. So I'm gonna say show header. And now I just need to import the header. Will it let me auto import it? Nope, doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna say header here, and I'll give that a save. So now I'm currently on the image slider. I can click through and do whatever I want here. I can click on show the counter, and then I can show the header, and uh, I totally broke it here. Is it because, I'm guessing this thought, oh, because I didn't pass in some data. So if we come to our header, I was expecting some props here. Let's just get rid of that. So now we can click through, click through, and now we can see our header. So that's another thing. I pretty much would use the if statement if I want to display pretty much totally different screens or totally different things. Uh, otherwise, I'll usually use inline ternary. So that is how you conditionally render stuff in React and the different techniques you can use for it.